In this short video, we're going to show how to read from a static CSV file as if it were a live sensor. I have a uh, CSV file on the screen here in Microsoft Excel. We've got four columns of data. The first column is the, uh, and you'll see the, the, the significance of this in just a moment as we bring it into real time. The first column is the name of the sensor. Uh, the second column in our case using the sample data is the degrees. We go from 0 to 360 or 359. Um, and and then the second two columns are the uh, the third and the fourth column are the computed sine value we just divide this by six and take the sine and the sine and the cosine and so we're just going to read this uh, as if it were live data um, and in your case you may have recorded sensor data and you want to treat this as a virtual sensor so let's go ahead and close this data file it's called sensor1.csv uh, we're going to save this and uh, let's launch Tin Man real time. Uh, Tin Man real time, when it launches, it's going to automatically check for updates. I highly recommend you do that. Each time you launch the application, we release updates and new features and, and fixes just about every week. Um, so, just as it says in the main window, select the data sources and command targets tab on the main ribbon bar to add a new uh, data source or target. Uh, and this is where your data sources um, activity is and your data targets. Uh, data sources are where the data comes in and you visualize uh, and respond to. Data targets are uh, systems that receive commands that you send from Tin Man real time. Uh, so in this case, we're not doing a UDP source, we're not doing a COM or serial port source. We've got a CSV data source. We click on that. Uh, we leave the name. In our case, we're just going to leave it as CSV source 1. We're not going to give it a description. And, but we do need to select the data file. And so we click on Browse. We select our data file, sensor1.csv. And in this case now, we can specify the number of data rows read per second in real time. And I want to slow this way down, so we're just going to go 10 rows per second to be read into real time. And we are going to have that repeat when we get to the bottom, because we want to continue to talk. Uh, and we don't want it to stop uh, at, when it gets to that 360th row. Keep in mind, your data files could be hundreds of thousands of rows. They could be 10,000. They could be 100. They could be 10. Uh, in our case, we have 360. And we also need to specify whether or not the first row is a header row. In other words, the names of the columns. And in our case, it is. Uh, but you don't have to have that uh, It'd be the case in your, your, uh, with your file. But we do need to specify that if there is a header, because we don't want to try to read that as numeric characters. Those aren't. It's text. So we're going to click OK. And we can see that um, we are reading that data file right out of the gate. Notice I had to click on the green radar button. Uh, to get things running, and we're going at 10 sam samples per second. Uh, this is the uh, typical um, way that uh, the raw data is displayed on the window uh, as the file is being uh, uh, read, whether it comes in from a UDP port, a serial port, or a CSV data source. Um, now, if we were to try to add gauges to the screen, one thing you're going to notice when you right-click on a gauge and try to associate it with anything, uh, there's not going to be anything there. You get the CSV data source, but you notice there are no sensors uh, in that data source. And that's the right way. I, what we need to do is tell uh, real time uh, that with this data source, there is a sensor in there. And there could be hundreds of sensors. In our case, there's just one with this data source, and it's called sensor one. So you'll notice that in the data sources pane, and if you go to your view tab, you can show this pane or hide it. We've, we've hidden it there. We're going to show it. There's also the data targets pane, uh, and there are other panes as well. But uh, in this case, we just want to uh, work with the data source pane. And uh, we have CSV sources to select the data source. And what we're going to do, we're not going to import sensor data template. We only have one sensor. We're just going to add that here. And we give it a name. Uh, and we know that the name of that sensor is sensor1. So we put sensor1 and give it the same external ID, uh, sensor1. We don't need to give it a description. Now what we want to do is declare these columns of data. The first one is the sample number, then we have the sine, and then we have the cosine. So we need to add those three things. So sample number, um, and then don't worry about the min and max. It's automatically computed. Then we have the sine, uh, and don't worry about that min and max. And then the third column there is the cosine. And so there we have it. 
we have basically set up a parsing template for that sensor. And you can see we get a blue, a blue light right out of the gate here that says uh, we're, we're parsing that. And if you notice in this, let me just stretch this out a little bit, um, that for this particular sensor, and there could be hundreds of sensors like I mentioned, in our case there's just one on this data source. Uh, the ID is sensor 1, and we've got three values. The first value is the sample number, second value is the sign, the third value is the cosine. Now when we go back to this gauge and we select properties, we select the data source, now we get the sensors. Now if there's more than one sensor, we'd have a selection to make. Uh, in our case there's just one, and then we choose which one of these we want to plot. And let's plot the sign. So there's that, and let's just change the name of that. Properties, we'll have this be the sign. And then let's do one more, and we'll have this be the cosine. And uh, so we do this, and this, and cosine and change the name of that at the top. And so there, we've got the sine and the cosine. And let's just do one more thing. Uh, let's do a line chart here. And we're going to stretch this out. And we're going to show both of these. Uh, these are the sine and cosine. But we need to add the data values. So CSV source, sensor, and we'll do sine. And we'll have this be brick red. We want to show in the legend. Uh, and let's add another one, and <clears throat> this one will be sensor cosine, and we'll have this be uh, dark blue, and we'll show that in the legend. Now we do need to change the, for a chart, we need to change the uh, scaling from minus 1 to 1, and the major grid increment, we'll make it 0.2, and then uh, 0.1, and OK. So there is our data being read live and plotted. Thank you.